The biggest death at the Sicilian resort was confirmed by the show's season 2 finale, which was much more tragic and dramatic than anticipated. The second episode of The White Lotus suggested that some visitors would pass away before the trip was over, prompting viewers to speculate as to which characters might commit murder. The White Lotus season 2's central themes of sex, cash, and power made it seem as though at least one character from each plot would pass away, however the numerous extramarital affairs and sexually held secrets only resulted in the demise of one significant character. Although it seemed like Tanya would end up becoming a recurring figure throughout the entire series, The White Lotus season 2's ending sees Jennifer Coolidge's character die under shocking circumstances. After confirming that Greg was the straight cowboy that Quentin was in love with, The White Lotus reveals that Greg, Quentin, and his associates intended to kill Tanya for her money. Tanya gets a call from Portia that makes her realize the men are planning to kill her, so she grabs Nicolo's gun and fatally shoots several men on board. It seems like Tanya is going to make a great escape, but she ends up accidentally slipping off the yacht, hitting her head on the dinghy's railing, and drowning. Making Tanya's White Lotus S2 death an accident was even more tragic, Tanya's terrible demise as a result of an accident in Season 2 of The White Lotus. She had managed to avoid the conspirators and was getting ready to run back to the hotel when she tragically fell off the side of the boat and perished. It was extremely appropriate for Tanya, who was depicted as fairly wretched throughout the White Lotus, after slaying her would-be murderers, she achieves a great confident finale, only to tragically fall to her death by mistake. Her passing was genuinely dramatic, just as writer Mike White had planned. In the Inside the Episode portion of the White Lotus season 2 finale, White explains that he brought Tanya back in order to depict her death. Tanya told Greg back in the White Lotus's season 1, ending that the one big experience she still hadn't had was death. So, the White Lotus season 2 gives it to her. After an exciting setup for her death through sinister schemes by her husband, which she survives, the series introduces a last-minute twist in which she does actually die, but by her own misfortune. Tanya's redemption by outsmarting her potential killers is immediately undone by her accidental drowning, which makes Tanya tragically foolish in her final moment. Will Greg get all of Tanya's money in The White Lotus now? In The White Lotus season 2's finale, Greg's plot for Tanya's demise did in fact materialize, and he now stands to receive millions. Tanya's accidental death circumstances, however, may still preclude him from getting the money. Given that Tanya is a wealthy heiress, it makes sense to investigate her killing, especially given that it happened in conjunction with the murders of several other persons. Quentin would then probably be linked to Greg by the police. If true, Greg might be charged with murder conspiracy if his conversations with Quentin and intention to kill Tanya are found out. Mike White teased that the White Lotus season 3 may reveal what happens to Greg and Tanya's fortune, so it seems their story isn't entirely over yet. Since Tanya didn't seem to have any close kin and Greg likely won't inherit the money, it's possible that Portia could end up with some of the vast fortune. However, Portia is still scared that Quentin and Jack's associates will harm her if she reveals the truth behind Tanya's murder plot. As such, she won't be the one who exposes Greg's crime and risks his wrath if she does receive some of the money before the White Lotus season 3.